Hey everybody, it's Alan with Bobcat. So there's a thread that came up recently that was talking about center cutting and non-center cutting and how these features work in the software. And there were some questions about, um, you know, the terminology that was used and, and it not being clear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, load up our advanced rough tool path. Uh, this is the strategy that uh, we're talking about. And we're gonna, we're gonna go through here and uh, you know, set up some of our settings here uh, just for the cut. All right, and the section really that we're talking about is our leads. And uh, this this may not be clear. If you um, uncheck uh, center cutting tool and we have plunge set, it really should show this tool uh, moving off the workpiece because that's what that means. If we have, if we uncheck center cutting, we, we're telling the software that the tool is a non-center cutting tool, that it can't plunge in the workpiece, okay? If I uh, compute this now, you'll notice that I only have a cavity here and th there's no tool path generated because really the tool can't plunge. Even though the dialog says that it, it's plunging, we come back and edit this and we go to leads, we've unchecked non-center cutting, that means that it can't plunge into the workpiece, but the entry type, the radial button here, it says plunge, okay? So I, I understand how that's confusing, but if you look at the tool path that's generated, we got nothing in this cavity, because there's no way for the tool to get down in there because it's non-center cutting. Now, if I go to my stock wizard, and let's say I add uh, a quarter inch of stock around the outside, Okay, and then I just recompute my tool path. What you're going to see now is you're going to see tool path generated around the outside. The reason why we see tool path generated around the outside is because the tool, the tool can actually, um, the tool can uh, start off the workpiece. Okay, so again, when we uh, when we uncheck under our leads when we uncheck center cutting it means the tool can't plunge in the workpiece and really what this should say is uh, starts off the workpiece or some other terminology to make it clear but to understand it again if you have unchecked center cutting the software knows that the tool can't plunge into the workpiece and the only time it, it will generate tool path is if it can start off the workpiece and that's what we see here now if I just throw a point I'm gonna do a point Z Let's see if I. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because of the the stock here. I'll drop my transparency down. So I have these uh, these points here. Yellow probably wasn't the best color either. Okay. So now I have these points. So let's say I drill a pilot hole in the center okay you'll notice in the advanced rough it has this drill tip positions so I can reselect this and I can grab that point and what I'm telling the software is that I've drilled a pilot hole to that depth okay so now when I generate my tool path you're gonna see the tool is gonna cut the cavity but all of the start points are gonna start see how it's gonna start right in the hole because I've drilled a pilot hole okay if I remove my drill tip position and I recompute again it's only gonna cut around on the outside because it knows it can't plunge into the workpiece here now if I come back into my lead options and now I tell it it's center cutting and I compute now I'm telling it can it can plunge so you can see that it's plunging into the workpiece and, and it's cutting out the cavity when I go back to my feature here and I go to my leads and then I turn on my ramp options now I have a bunch of different options as far as how the tool is gonna get into the the cavity okay now the automatic function is very useful because it will choose which the best ones are throughout the part um, you know so when you say automatic uh, if it if any of the uh, lead uh, ramp in styles gouge the part then it switches to another one so that's that's very useful um, you know depending on you know either you're gonna spiral in or you know the the profile approach is pretty good too where you know it kinda follows the profile of the part and gets down in there so I hope this helps clear up this topic it, it's not as much a, a functionality issue as it may be a terminology issue uh, it just may not be clear 
you know uh, what those options do but you can see there there definitely is intelligence built into the way that the tool will enter the workpiece or not enter the workpiece based off those settings. So I hope this helps uh, clear it up. If there's any additional questions about this topic, uh, please reply back into the thread. Uh, you know, please, uh, you know, comment on the Facebook or the YouTube page and uh, subscribe to me, guys. All right. Thank you so much.